So we're going to talk about how to make a urethane belt, and I actually had to make this one twice, and, I'm, and I've videoed the whole thing, but I don't want it to be long, so I may show parts of it, um, parts of each one. But uh, the first time I made it, I didn't realize that you, I thought you just put it around there and welded it, and you didn't have to worry about um, stretch, but it, it was so loose that it wouldn't drive it. So anyway, this particular belting has a stretch factor of 10%, so... Um, Anyway, you'll see that in the video. I got to make a, a, a urethane belt for my Acme Shigomatic, which if you're interested in that, there's another video out there on how to do that. Um, I'm using this. This is from McMaster Car, and it's some uh, 1 8 inch uh, round orange urethane belting. So, uh, this is the first time I've ever done this, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to measure the belt by just coming around and see I've got a little mark there. I just kind of bring it around and stretched it just a little bit. Now this block um, I cut out on the table saw. Alright, so now I'm just going to find my mark wherever the heck it is. Oh, there it is. Well, it's longer than you think. <clears throat> Just take a razor blade. Now, people talk about all kinds of angle in these. And, but then, also people just cut them straight off and they work just fine. So, there we go. Cut straight off. Okay, so once you cut your, cut your belt, and I could have used a piece of string to figure the length. would have saved me just a little bit of length of belt. So I'm going to measure it, and it's 15 inches, and this stuff shrinks, uh, I mean, well not shrinks, but stretches 10%. So I need to take out an inch and a half. So, I'm going to put that there and mark it. Now I've got a soldering iron over here. Now, uh, some people talk about that they will uh, use a heat gun and a propane torch or a candle or whatever. Um, I don't know that I could be all that pinpoint accurate with that. So I'm thinking I'm just going to touch this here. And it's starting to melt, you can see. I don't know if you can see or not, but it is. All right, and then I'm going to put it on this block and push it together, push it down. So I think All right, I think that's got it. Let's zoom you in here. That's it, kind of welded together. All right, I'm just going to take some little side cutters. Trim that off. All right, now this is uh, some uh, 120 sanding pa sandpaper. It's been used before, but all right. So now I'm just gonna. Well, that doesn't work too good. Let's try this. That's working better. Just sand and just sand that off. I'll be back when I get that done. 
All right, so I've been kind of sanding on it, and it's still pretty rough. Where is it? It's still pretty rough. So, I'm going to try... Let's try melting it. That seems to be working better, quicker, and would probably reinforce it. You know, I'm just making that up. I don't really know. Okay, so I think for my application, that's going to be great. Alright, so there's the belt on there. I think that seems to be the right length. And let's plug it in and see if it works. <laughs> yep, it works. Okay. So that's how uh, I welded a urethane belt easier than I thought. You know, they have kits online that are like, you know, several hundred bucks, which is just crazy because I don't think you need them. Um, anyway, uh, appreciate you watching that. And if you're interested in how to make a Shaco Matic, there's a series of videos out there for that. Thank you for watching.